Hi, I'm Nick Lethbam, the Operating System Product Manager for TI. And today we're going to discuss a relatively new product TI has introduced called TI RTOS. It's an operating, complete operating system for microcontroller applications. So having just told you that TI RTOS is new, I do want to stress that it's really an amalgamation of proven products. So what TI did was take existing non-working components such as the SysBIOS real-time kernel, Stellarisware USB and drivers, and the NDK TCP IP stack, and then we amalgamated that into a new product called TI RTOS that is surrounded by improved documentation and tools. So we understand, obviously, the embedded systems are often used in very high, re high reliability applications, such as motor control, industrial control, or transportation. And therefore, it was important to us to make sure we knew we had a high quality product coming out straight away. So what is TI RTOS in a bit more detail? It really consists of two elements. On the left, you can see there are some tools. These are graphical configuration tools and RTOS-aware debug tools. Then the rest of the diagram, you'll see the actual so embedded software components that TI RTOS consists of. We have, for example, at the bottom, the device drivers. Then we have the multitasking kernel itself. And on top of that are middleware components, including TCP IP, USB, a FAT file system, and some interprocessor communication software aimed at our multi-core concerto family. TI RTOS, of course, is compatible with our Co-Composer Studio IDE. It ships separately, and you have to, so you have to download it separately. But then we make sure that every TI RTOS release we make, we test against CCS to ensure they work seamlessly. Another nice thing about TI RTOS, and perhaps you know, the nicest of all, is the fact it's completely free. There's no licensing for development, no licensing for shipping. And we also provide all the source code to make sure if you ever need to see OS source code to facilitate your debugging, you can do so. And then finally, TI RTOS is supported 100% by TI. The whole development support team is at TI. And this enables us to help you if you get a problem where you're not sure is it the OS or is it the silicon that has a bug, we can then solve that with a single point of contact and there's no finger pointing between hardware and software providers. So why do we feel TI RTOS is so important? Well, obviously today many, R many MCU developers don't even use an RTOS, but as, as MCUs take on yet more and more memory, and they get more and more peripherals, it's becoming more of a challenge to develop MCU applications. For example, our top-of-the-line MCUs have a megabyte of flash. They also have TCP IP and USB peripherals, which require fairly complicated stacks to make them work properly. Now, our microcontroller customers are typically experts in things like motor control or power control, and they don't really want to have to learn TCP IP and networking in detail and write their own software. So TI RTOS provides these type of capabilities off the shelf so you, the application developer, can focus on what you're an expert in and not have to worry about becoming an expert in internet connectivity. In addition, beyond the stacks we provide in TI RTOS, we have partners that provide still f additional stacks to take care of a really broad range of connectivity you may run into. And then finally, because TI RTOS abstracts you away from the specifics of the chip, you can migrate your application quickly to a new microcontroller. And as microcontroller applications become more complicated, it becomes more important you can reuse your existing code base. And therefore, having something that's portable enables you to develop your next generation application much more quickly. I mentioned in the previous slide, uh, we have a number of partners who provide additional connectivity options beyond what are present in TI RTOS. And we already have set some of these up, even um, right at the introduction of the products. We have Interniche Technologies, 
and they complement our base TCP IP stack with additional protocols like SNMP for network management or SSH and SSL for network security. If you're doing an industrial application and need CAN connectivity, we have SIMA software. And if you need uh, short range uh, wireless connectivity, Stone Street One is providing Bluetooth solutions. And obviously as we go forward, we'll add more and more partners uh, to TIRTOS's ecosystem. Just to uh, dwell on the fact about how TIRTOS makes your application more maintainable and more enhanceable and therefore easier to reuse. Let's look at this diagram here and you'll see that your hard real time functions like the motor control thread and PWM driver are our highest priority functions. And what's nice is that when you start adding lower priority functions like a user interface thread, for example, the response time for your motor control thread is not affected because it's service because it's the highest priority function. And this means a multi-threaded based application is inherently more maintainable than something based on a polling loop because in the polling loop where you're going around and checking with each application to see if it needs to be serviced, every time you add new functions, the time taken to go around that polling loop increases. So again, your real-time response is affected. So with a, an application based on a multitasking preemptive based kernel, the top priority functions are always serviced just as quickly regardless of how much lower priority and background tasks you add to the system. We've already released TIR tasks for a number of our popular devices. So for example, various Stellaris Concerto devices are supported today. And um, in, in a few months time, you'll, with our 1.02 release, you'll see the MSP430 family added and yet more new ARM Cortex M4 based devices being supported. And you can download these TIR source releases from um, the URL you see on the screen here. So www.ti.com slash tool slash TI dash RTOS. So to summarize, the, the good benefit of TI RTOS is that between our middleware we provide as part of the RTOS and our partners who supply additional options, you don't need to worry about internet connectivity or any other type of connectivity option. You can simply focus on your particular area of MCU um, expertise like motor control and we will take care of the rest. We provide standardized driver APIs so you can easily move your application without worrying it's become uh, tangled up in some spaghetti code mess with uh, particular device specific registers on a, for a UART on a specific device. And then finally, we provide graphical debug tools and graphical configuration tools to make it very easy to incorporate an OS as part of your application. I'd like to thank you for your time and would encourage you to go and view our other videos which give a more detailed overview of both the OS components and our debug tools. Goodbye.